Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at an album from 1987, Echo and the Bunnymen. One of my favorite records by a great band that's underrated. I think this album should be in everyone's collection. Every song is great. And there's plenty of standouts. Let's take a look at what's on it. Song one is a song called The Game. The Game is a great album opener. It was released as a single. It's a great song. Poppy as hell. Just great. Brings me back. It actually came out in 87, though. The record has a feel of a few years earlier. It's right up there with like the 83, 84, 85 works of Echo and the Bunnymen, but much better songs. I also think this is their best produced album. Like I said, the game's a great opener. Song two is a song called Over You, another great pop hit. I love Ian McCulloch's voice on this song. It's all in the same vein. I can just say these are great pop slash alternative songs. Song three features the keyboard playing of Ray Manzarek. The song is called Bed Bugs and Ballyhoo. This was a big hit for Echo and the Bunnymen at the time this came out. I remember this being all over the radio. One of my favorites on the album. Song four, All in Your Mind. For me, this one is a little bit more of a driving beat. A darker sound, then the hook lightens up. Just a great song. I love Ian McCulloch's voice in this one where he goes to his talking low voice and then sings. The quality of his voice I really like. And this song is also a great song. So far we're in four songs in and every song is fantastic. Song five is a song called Bomber's Bay. My absolute favorite song on this record. I really love it. It's pop goodness. It's alternative goodness. It's rock goodness. It's great. Check it out. Bombers Bay Song 5. Song 6 is a classic legendary song by the band called Lips Like Sugar. If you don't know Lips Like Sugar, I suggest you move out of a cave and come into society. It's a great song. It really is. One of those songs where it's Probably the biggest hit on the album, probably deserves to be. I personally like Bomber's Bay ahead of it better, but this is fantastic. Song 7 is a song called Lost and Found. Another great pop song. Again, this one probably more along the lines of Song 2 or Song 4. Not as strong as Song, The Game, Bed Bugs and Ballyhoo, Lips Like Sugar, or Bomber's Bay, but it's still great. We are seven songs deep. Every song so far, I think, is excellent. And it doesn't stop there. Song 8, New Direction. Great, fantastic, excellent song. Song 9 is a song called Blue Blue Ocean. Very good song. This song might be where we start to see a little kink in the armor. It's a great song. It's not as fantastic maybe as songs 1 through 8, but it's really, really great. Song 10, Satellite. This seems to evoke a more 60s style rock. Again, as good as Song 9, maybe not as strong as Songs 1 through 8 on the album, but it's still great. This is an album that should not be overlooked. Okay, we have Song 11, one more to go. All My Life, this might be the worst song on the album. It's an okay song. I'm not going to say it's great. It's okay. For me... The song is when you get 11 songs and 10 of them are in the great, this album needs to be looked at. Uh, All My Life is probably the weakest link on the record. That's just the way it is. But by that time, if you're already that far into the record, you've seen how great this album is. Anyways, check it out. The link in the description will be so you can listen to it on Spotify. I hope you dig it. Let me know what you think. Very good.